Okay, so the 4 terabyte CDA portable external hard drive has now arrived, so I can... Oops, there goes my scissors. Okay, can I either tear into this or cut it? Oh, now we're gonna have to cut it. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have to cut it. Kind of hoping I can actually tear into it. Nope. Looks like I'm just going to have to cut it through here. I'm gonna slice my fingers, so I must be very careful not to do that. Uh, okay, so I made the incision, now I just need to see if I can. Looks like it wasn't even deep enough, never mind, forget about that. Uh, this is so awkward. Let's be very careful because I don't want to cut part of the label. Okay, we need to do this more in the frame so we can see the action because that's what's in the unboxing is to see somebody like opening a box or a parcel. And technically you would be an unparceling, but that's, there's no such a word in English anyway. So even though it's on the box, you just call them unboxing anyway. And yes, it is indeed 4 terabytes. I don't know, I was under some slight impression that they could possibly mix action and I don't know, I don't think best I would do something like that. I mean, if it were eBay's, then yeah, they'd probably do something like that. But even then, a reliable vendor wouldn't do that. They'd make sure that they're diligent about the capacities that they send because sending the wrong size is something that you should only do if you really want to get bad reviews. Okay, so now that's out of the way. Um, I can highlight some other things. Let's see, these are between Windows and Mac. You can pause there to read some of that stuff. You can see the different languages. You can see focusing will make it a little better. Okay, so that is the full name for it, Backup Plus, the other regulatory stuff assembled in Thailand. Oh, Thailand, huh, that's interesting. Uh, the other one said made in China, so I don't know, maybe they switched facilities? Who knows, let's just open it up. My problem is, where do I start? I could, I guess, I can scratch with this, no? Is there, actually no, I think I can come down here. I'm gonna try not to, Okay, I was just about to touch the camera to focus, but it looks like I must have read my mind. It's like, okay, I'll focus. You don't need to touch me. Uh, okay, I'm having a little bit of difficulty here. You know, I'm just going to have to tear the seal because I don't want to be bothered with it. Like, I know it's to make sure it's legit and all, but right now it's just... Actually, I could have probably torn up here. I mean, there's the other safety seal. So, hey, at least there's one. Just in case I need to... Oh, I hope not. The last one that I had, which I'll show you soon, was 2 terabytes, and I had that since 2016, and it still works well. So, Seagate is a pretty reliable brand, at least from my personal experience. I mean, some people might say otherwise. Here's all your usual books and stuff. Websites or whatever, I'm searching, not reading all that. Can you see all this? This is a lot of different languages, man. I'm seeing, like... <laughs> Chinese, Japanese, probably Dutch, German, maybe even Indian. I don't even know. I haven't actually stopped to look at it. So, who knows what kind of languages this is going to be? There's going to be a lot, though. That's all I can tell you. There's going to be a lot. Okay, I want to take a seat here because I'm in this weird position standing. Uh, how do I get into this? Wow, it feels so cold. It must have been in the warehouse for a very long time to be this cold. Okay, so Whew! this thing is so cold. <laughs> like I kid you not, man. This thing feels like it's like been in a refrigerator, man. Dang. I mean, I get it. The warehouse doesn't have any heating, but wow, so cold. I don't know if you can actually see on camera. My fingerprints left from the frost. Let me see if I can do it again. Can you see it? Focus. No, I don't know. They just let him. Okay, yeah, I'll see the better side too. Actually, why, why am I trying to show you the difference? You don't care about that. You just care about seeing the hard drive. You don't care about how cold it is. I mean, that's just something that I have to point out because it's so cold. Like, it really is. Is this type B? Let's see if I can get that to show on camera. I'm well, starting to show because it's too dark. Let me turn the flashlight for a second there. And uh, no, it's looking really green, so you're not gonna be able to see the B. Okay, now you can see it. Now, well, I can see it, it's not focusing. Okay, there we go. 
I'm gonna drop the light now. Either it's type B. And yes, in the other unboxing video, you already saw that I bought a case for this in advance, so I was prepared. This. Come on, camera, focus. Keep going rainy every minute. So even though I was expecting this to look more like this, and they're turning out much darker, but eh, that's okay. At least it's blue, not black. So now this can comfortably slide in like this. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna test it off camera probably a little bit later once I'm done. Or is it supposed to go in this department? I don't know. Where do you guys put yours? And now, I can show you the red one. Yes, I got it in matching colors because I'm just... I, I just felt like doing that. So here they are. 2 terabytes, some 2016, and now 4 terabytes, 2018. I think they released the 5 terabyte version back in... Uh, I don't know. You know, I, I can't even tell you because I honestly have no idea. Let's just take both of these out now for a comparison. Oh, yes. I don't know if you can see it, but the 4 terabytes is actually clearly thicker. So I'm actually really glad I decided to take them both out and size them up. Now, you're not going to see from this angle because they're flat on the desk. But I mean, even then, you can still kind of see it. But like if I put them up like this, you can see a big difference. I'm going to turn the light here for a second. Uh, now that just creates a lot of glare, but yeah, you can see a very, very big difference. Now, uh, do I have a ruler nearby? Actually, no, you don't care about the thickness. You can just read out the thickness online. You can see with your own eyes, like, really. Yeah, now, if we do from this angle... No, that's not a very good angle, too. Um, okay, this way. Yeah, look at that. Look at those ports. Uh, that's going to create a bit of glare. Move them out of the glare. But you can see the difference. So, I would like to know if the 5 chair weights is even thicker. The only thing I would know is if I decide to purchase and I decide to size them all up together, but I'm not getting five chair bites right now. I don't know, maybe I might get it in 2019 or who knows, maybe I might even get it this year. Well, okay, no, I'm kidding. First, I have to see the, how the four chair bites fares first. I mean, there's not going to be any significant differences between the size and the four. Actually, I don't know. Some people are saying that the five chair bites in particular is slow. I don't know if four chair bites still see fast. Like, I know they have a faster version, like four chair bites fast. And then there's like some other one, I think it's like 1.5. You'd have to look it up to see what I'm talking about. So, now looking at these, do they have the size this on them anywhere, or is it just on the package itself? Oh yeah, yeah, yes they do. They look very close to here. You can see right there, four terabytes assembled in Thailand, HDD. Then you look at this one, assembled in China, HDD. So hmm. As I noticed earlier, it seems like, I don't know, either they change the facilities or maybe they just do the two terabytes and under in China and then the ones that are larger in Thailand? I don't know. Okay, have I covered everything? I think I have. Now, obviously, you can't open these up and you don't want to open them. You don't see no visible screws on them anywhere because they really don't want you going inside them. They want you out of them. There was something geeky that I should point out. I can't remember. I don't know. Some of you were saying something about certain boards were being soldered inside another brand. Yeah, it was Passport. And that if they fail from the Passport brand, that you can't recover the data by connecting something, something of the sort. I mean, you tech guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, for this brand, they haven't soldered a certain whatever, whatever to a certain port. So that if it does fail, although fingers crossed it doesn't, that, you know, you could retrieve it somehow. I don't remember the exact method. Again, you can look it up and the tech guys that are seeing this know what I'm talking about. So... I believe I have covered everything at this point, so if you want to buy these, I got my from Best Buy, you can also get them from Amazon, I will drop links down below, and I am out. Wait, hold up, there's something extremely important I need to tell you, and that is, if you do plan to get a bureau case for your 4 terabyte portable hard drive, I'd advise against it, because as you can see here, it won't fit everything without it just squeezing against it, and I'll show you what I mean. The 2 terabytes, as you can see here, Everything fits just fine. Closes like that. You don't see it bulging. Now for the four terabyte one, as you can see, I'm gonna show you from the box video, it's a lot thicker. So that happens. So this, look at that. This is what's going to happen if you get one of these cases with one of the larger sizes, like four or even five terabytes, versus something like this. Now, yes could attempt to close it if I wanted to, like that. So this, let me just focus here, versus this. 
this bow does not look good. I don't think it'd be good for the cord in the long term, so I'd advise against this. You want a case that has a depth of at least like six centimeters, maybe even seven. This one has a depth of about a meter. Hold on the other side. Uh, three, I guess I could say 3.3, .3, give or take, you can see for yourself. So you want something like maybe five to seven centimeters high, not anything less than four centimeters, or it's gonna be weird and bulgy like that. Perhaps I'm just being a little bit paranoid and silly about it damaging the core, just rest it flat and it should be fine. As long as it's not like squeezing it to the point that you can clearly see that it's going to damage the cord, it, it'll work. But still, it probably might be a smarter idea to get something that's at least seven centimeters high just to get a safer side, but it's not absolutely mandatory. Did you like this video? Do you own a 4 terabyte portable hard drive? Seeing as though I'm the type of person that takes many videos and photographs, I regret not choosing the 5 terabyte version. But oh well, whatever. Now go comment, rate, like, subscribe, share, read my bunk information, and visit my Twitter page my latest tweets. And do not forget to also participate in the polls located in the top right corner within the eye circle. Do not bother listening to this lame outro song. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year!